What's up guys, Yang here, the Tech Rodent. Now you might have heard of Remix OS. It's a version of Android that has a higher emphasis on productivity as well as multitasking with the whole entire operating system looking like a traditional desktop operating system like Windows. The beauty of Remix OS is that where more older or low-end hardware may struggle to run a full-blown operating system like Windows, which is very resource intensive, that very same hardware may be good or even flagship level by Android standards. This netbook that I have with me here today is the Acer Aspire 1. Happy? And even though it's paltry Intel Atom N550 and its 2GB of RAM make for a crippled Windows 7 starter and experience, sorry, let alone Windows 10, it's not that bad if you consider it as Android hardware. After all, this kind of spec was easily found in many flagship devices one or two years ago. Unfortunately though, even though it's supposed to be, the installation process doesn't always go smoothly, especially since I plan to get rid of Windows altogether and run this as the main operating system. Now, Remix OS only has guides for dual booting with Windows, but I managed to get it working with a lot of time and research, and with this video, you can have all of that without the time sync. So with that out of the way, let's get to converting this netbook into an Android laptop. The first step might seem extremely obvious, but for many it may not be, and assumptions are a terrible thing. We need to first test which build of Remix OS works with our machine, the 32-bit or 64-bit version. Even though this Atom N550 is supposed to be a 64-bit supported CPU, I found that I could only boot Remix OS using the 32-bit build instead, so we'll be utilizing that for this guide. Once we find the version that works with our machine, we'll need to download Ubuntu as well and prepare two USB drives. Make sure that both USB sticks are at least about 2GB in size. For Ubuntu, I'm running the 64-bit version as I found that it works with this netbook, but you can use whichever. Once we have the ISOs of both Remix OS and Ubuntu ready, we'll need one more piece of software to help get them into a bootable ISO format. Rufus. Now I have tried using Remix OS's own tool to help build a bootable USB, but I found that it doesn't work, so I went back to using Rufus for this instead. Launch Rufus, click on the little disk loading button thing and select your ISO. Since we're installing this in a legacy machine without UEFI, leave it at an MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UEFI. Do this for both the Remix OS ISO and Ubuntu ISO in separate USB sticks, obviously, because overwriting a USB that you just made would be silly. Once we have both of these prepared, we first start off by sticking the Remix OS USB in and doing the usual BIOS adjustments to make sure that we can boot from it. We'll get a screen that asks us which mode we'd like to run Remix OS in and we'll highlight Resident Mode, but instead of pressing Enter, we'll press Tab and remove the line that says Create Data Image and replace it with Install equals 1 in capital letters and hit Enter. Now we get to choose which partition we'd like to install it into, but first we need to prepare the disk. Go into create slash modify partitions, select your desired hard drive, press enter, and make sure that you don't mind losing any and all information on this drive, because it's going to happen. Select yes to use GPT, and now you should see a UI for CG disk, along with any partitions that exist on the hard drive currently. Use the up and down arrow keys to select the partitions and the left and right keys to select delete, making sure that we only have free space by the end of it. Once that's done, select on new and press enter for the first sector. 
For the size, we want to make sure that it's at least 2 MB, and at least for my computer, I found that the number is 4096. Basically, this is a 320GB hard drive but shows 625 million sectors, so I figured it's whatever the size I want it to be in kilobytes multiplied by 2. As for the hex code or GUID, key in EF02 and this will create a BIOS boot partition for Grub that is required for our system to find and load Remix OS. Partition name doesn't matter so we're just going to hit enter and now in the menu we can see that our boot partition is exactly 2 MB. I'm going to select the remaining partition space after the boot partition and just keep hitting enter to create a standard Linux partition. Now that all that is done, use the arrow keys to select right to execute all the drive changes and when prompted, type yes and press enter. It should only take a second or so. Hit escape to go back to the Remix OS installer and now we can select the second partition in our disk to install Remix OS onto. In this case for me, it's SDA2. Select ext4 as the format, select yes and give it a minute. We'll skip installing Grub through this installer and this part is up to personal preference but I like my system as read-write so I'm going to select yes. Once again, we wait for it to finish. Congratulations, we have just installed Remix OS. But we're not done yet, so we're going to select Reboot and while it's rebooting, we're going to swap out the Remix OS USB for the Ubuntu one. Boot into the Ubuntu USB and give it a few minutes to load up. When the menu appears, we're going to select Try Ubuntu and wait some more. Now that it's loaded up, we're going to click this thingy in the corner and type in Disks and launch it. Inside Disks, we should be able to see the partition where Remix OS is installed as it is labeled Android x86 and we'll take note of the line at the bottom there that says Device. In my case, it says dev sda2. Close that and this time we're going to launch terminal instead. Type in sudo dash i and hit enter to enter super user. Now type in mount followed by the location of the drive we saw above, so in my case slash dev slash sda2 and as for the mounting point, we're going to set it to slash mnt. So now we install grub as our bootloader by typing in grub dash install space dash dash boot dash directory equals, remember how we mounted sda2 to mnt, so it is slash mnt slash boot and since the partition name is sda2, we type in sda to get the drive and so that's slash dev slash sda. If everything was done right up to this point, then you shouldn't see any errors appear. And once it's done, we can type in exit twice to exit the terminal. We're going to launch disks again, and this time clicking on the Android x86 partition, we can see that it's mounted at slash mnt. We're going to click that to open the directory. So we'll see that the boot folder that we created above and the Remix OS folder beside it that was created during the Remix OS installation process. Go into the Remix OS folder and you'll see files like kernel and initrd.img. These files will be relevant in just a minute. Head back and go into the boot folder and go into grub. Now, the bootloader is already installed, but it doesn't have an entry to boot into Remix OS yet, so we're going to have to create that. Right click on any blank spaces in the folder and click on Open in Terminal. We're going to go into Super User, but we're going to do it a little bit differently this time, using a dash S instead of a dash I, so that we open Super User in this current directory instead of the root directory. From here, we're going to type in gedit and the name of the file that we're planning to create, in this case, grub.cfg. Now, we're going to do quite a bit of typing, so you better follow closely. 
We're going to set the timeout to 3 seconds using set timeout equals 3. And we're going to add a menu entry named Remix OS of class Android x86. Now remember that our Android x86 partition was SDA2, so we type in set root equals open brackets hd0, comma, 2, close brackets, where the 0 after hd is an A, B is 1, C is 2, so on so forth. And the partition within the disks, in this case, SDA2 is just 2. Next line, search space dash dash file space dash dash no dash floppy space dash dash set equals root slash remix os slash kernel. Remember that the name of the folder we saw before this was remix os and it had a file inside it called kernel. Next line and this is a long one, linux space slash remix os slash kernel space root equals slash dev slash ram zero space android boot dot hardware equals remix underscore x86 space android boot dot se linux equals permissive space quiet space serial equals random space logo dot show logo equals one space src equals remix os slash space data equals and finally create underscore data underscore img equals one final line init rd space slash remix os slash init rd dot img and close it off hit the save button and we can close gedit finally we hit reboot on ubuntu and remove all the usb sticks this is the part where you pray that everything you've done so far works and that it boots into Remix OS flawlessly. Bear in mind that the first boot takes quite some time as mine took around 6 to 7 minutes. Congratulations! You're now officially running Remix OS. But before you could break out that champagne and celebrate, you went into settings and looked at storage and saw that you only had 4 gigabytes of internal storage. Yang, you might say, why do I only have 4 gigabytes of storage? You may say, throwing a tantrum, in which I would reply, come your tits, we'll solve that. Now remember that I was using a 320 gigabyte hard drive to host my Remix OS installation. Now I want my Remix OS internal storage size to be about 256 gigabytes, as it is a nice number that is smaller than the maximum size of my hard drive. Hit reboot and when we see the grub bootloader with Remix OS selected, hit E. We should be able to type some stuff in and so at the end of create data img that we wrote just now, we're going to add another temporary command to this, debug equals 1. Hit F10 to continue booting and this time instead of booting straight into Remix OS, you should see a command line prompt. We're going to go into the Remix OS directory so we'll type in cd slash mnt slash Remix OS. From there we're going to do a file system check to make sure that all is good before we operate on it and that command is e2fsck space dash f space data dot img. Give it a minute to complete and once that's done, we'll type in resize2fs space data dot img along with the new size that we decided earlier on which is 256g in my case. Hit enter and sip on some tea as we wait. Once that's done, we can hit exit and voila! You have, hopefully, a fully running and working copy of Remix OS on your computer running as a main operating system. Okay, yeah, that was quite a long video, but I try to be very descriptive as well to help people understand what's going on in the process. Hopefully by now you would have resurrected that old beast you had laying around and gave it new life running Remix OS. A lot of work went into the creation of this guide and video, so I would really appreciate it if you guys left what you thought about it with either a like or maybe a dislike. 
and maybe share the video along. After all, spreading knowledge is always a good thing. Maybe even drop a comment on what you'd like to see and maybe I'll consider creating it. My name is Yang aka Hamster aka Tech Rodent. I hope you found this video helpful and I hope you have a nice day. That where older or more low-end hardware may struggle to find what? What? What do you mean you forgot? <laughs>